We have two solar storms that are back to back that could bring us some aurora later in the week. And some new active regions are rotating into Earth view off of the east limb, which should bring you amateur radio operators some relief. Those stories and more in the news this week. Solar activity is really picking up this week. We've had multiple solar storm launches. The first one was down here. It's kind of a stealthy solar storm. The only way we knew it actually launched is it made this coronal hole a bit bigger once it finally left the disk. So after that, this we had two uh, eruptions that have occurred up here, the latest one today. Both of these are large enough that they might have a little bit of a tail that could dip down into the Earth strike zone and give us a grazing blow. So this week we should have something hitting us around the 7th and maybe even into the 9th. So we should have multiple chances for some aurora. Switching to our M-Flare threat meter, you can see we've been well below the seafloor for quite a few weeks, but as of about the 6th, you can see we started to rise. The flux levels are rising a little bit. We're actually even popping some C-class flares here and there. Most of this activity is due to the east limb regions that are rotating into Earth view as we speak, and this level should continue to rise and give some relief to you amateur radio operators who finally should be able to get some decent radio propagation. Switching to our solar storm conditions, you can see back on April 3rd, we actually did have a pretty decent solar storm. It only lasted for about 12 hours, but it did make a moderate level. This was due to the fact that we had a mini storm that was kind of embedded in some fast wind, so it bumped up the levels for a little while. Unfortunately, the peak aurora viewing happened over Europe, which was almost completely clouded out. So we did get some beautiful aurora, but it was kind of after the peak, and uh, things since then have been quieting down. But hopefully we'll get another chance for aurora later this week. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. Now you can see those bright regions there that are rotating off to the far limb. Those regions are the bright ones that are coming onto the Earth-facing disk right now. And as you can see, they're extremely active. And they're right next to that dark coronal hole that's kind of to the north. That just enhances the activity. So what we're expecting from these regions is maybe a chance for more solar storms, maybe even some M-class flares, but definitely some good news for your amateur radio operators who need that solar flux level to rise. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating some fast wind to hit us right around the 7th. That's also right about the time we're expecting that uh, stealthy solar storm to also hit us. So NOAA is giving us about a 50% chance of a major storm at high latitudes, but probably minor storm conditions. At mid-latitudes, we're only expecting about a 15% chance of a minor storm on the 7th, with things probably settling down quite quickly. Now things will definitely quiet down for a little bit, but then starting around the 9th and the 10th with these new solar storms that have just been launched. If we happen to catch the tail end of them, then we should start seeing activity rise once again. And by the 10th, we could be getting into active conditions, maybe even some minor storm conditions at high latitudes. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, despite the fact that we have those new regions rotating into view off of the east limb, NOAA is still keeping us down to about a 1% chance for an M-class flare. Now they may raise that up as these new regions rotate into view, probably about 5%, maybe 10%, but they still don't look like they're uh, M-flare players just as of yet. We are still getting C-class flares from them now, so only time will tell. But the nice thing is that at least this uh, solar flux should be on the rise here. We should be popping in the green uh, later this week so that you amateur radio operators should get enough propagation to be able to enjoy the band conditions. And we still have everything in the green as far as solar, solar radiation storms, so no worries there. So things are beginning to look pretty exciting this week. We have multiple solar storms that are en route. The first one should hit us right around the 7th. It's that stealthy solar storm, so it may not cause that much of a ruckus. But then we have the other two that are on their way, and if they've dipped down into the Earth strike zone, we might get a glancing blow from them starting around the 9th or the 10th. So you uh, Aurora photographers, keep your cameras ready. And then you amateur radio operators, we have those new regions that are rotating into view off of the east limb, and if they stay as active as they've been, then we'll have about two weeks worth of some decent radio propagation for you guys, of course, barring solar storms that takes things out. But, you know, outside of that, you might actually be able to enjoy the bands for a while. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.